Hello Power Designing Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today it's going to be definitely a little bit of a fun video, kind of an interesting video, kind of a dumb video, whatever you want to classify it as. So there are some Lightning Collection stuff right here and all of this is here for a particular reason. So this video is the Power Rangers Lightning Corrections or Power Rangers Corrections Collection. I'm not exactly sure which one, which video title I like better. Uh, but obviously I will have picked one by the time you see this video. So this is me being insane, uh, essentially. So uh, as you know, I am a Lightning Collection completionist and I take that very, very seriously. <laughs> um, so when there are figure variations, I want all of the figure variations. Or when there's something wrong with my figure, I want there to not be something wrong with my figure. So this video has actually been a long time coming. It's been about two months in the works. Uh, to finally track down every variant of all these figures that I needed or get a fix or whatever it is. Um, so you've already seen all of these guys in previous videos. You'll recognize this fella right here from my Deluxe Wave 1 video review, my Ninjetti White Ninja, whatever you want to call him, review, my Wave 11 review, and my Power Pop Art Walmart review. And now today we have additional versions of all of these <laughs> to finally actually have a complete Lightning Collection. Now. Don't do this, don't be me. <laughs> don't track down, unless you really want to, uh, every version of all of these figures or whatever it is. Uh, but there's a couple of packages down here that I need to open. There's a couple of just unopened lightning figures I need to open. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with Ninja White here, the only figure that is not a variant of some kind that I needed to track down. So Ninja White is, as you all know, the ninjas so far have had a terrible, terrible quality control problem. And my Ninja White was no exception to that. When I did my original review of him, I opened him up and I realized he had two left fists and he still currently is, uh, you know, sporting the two left fist look. Uh, and so and he appeared that way uh, when he showed up in all my other ninja reviews uh, because I had not bothered to open my replacement. So thankfully, I will say this, while that was very annoying and very frustrating to have to deal with that, at least Target was very easy to work with. Uh, basically, I you know contacted Target via the app and was like, hey, my figure arrived not correct. And so basically they just were like, okay, cool, uh, we'll send you a replacement. And they didn't ask for me to send the original one back. Um, so about a week after that video, this guy showed up. So I have another one. So <laughs> here is the secondary Ninja White. And uh, we're gonna kind of have to make some sort of little kit bash here, I think, uh, because I think this one has worse paint applications. However, he does have right there a right-handed fist which oh wow look at that so basically we just need this guy's fist uh, i don't really need anything else from this package whatsoever um so we're gonna go ahead and start with this guy now what's nice is that the package or the box turned out very nice I, there's really no problems with that i think the figure itself like you know it has all the accessories everything like that it has what it should have I just think that the paint applications probably, I think, look a little worse. So let's go ahead and grab my cutters up there. Now, whenever I get duplicate lightning figures, I do open them from the top uh, just so I can know because I keep all my lightning collection boxes, even duplicates. And that's basically so I can know that this is a duplicate one uh, because I would have opened my original one from the bottom. But I'm seeing that that was probably a mistake here because there's tape all over the little flap. So there we go. Oh, that's a difficult one. Why? Why would you tape it this weirdly? All the ones that have been, all the ninjas have had a very strange tape on the box, just adding into the whole thing of how weird these ones are. And wow, I completely, completely missed the tray. All right, so let's take a look at him. So this is what I mean. I think that he has worse paint applications on the chest. Like you see all that gold paint kind of like overspray i guess or marks or whatever hold on hold on hold on <laughs> do you see it look look at his arm look at his freaking arm it is com it was completely off the joint it still is that thing is that thing is screwed up at the joint oh my god <laughs> you really can't win uh, but you see like this figure perfectly fine besides the fist so i just i just need to take the fist off, which please, I was hoping it wasn't gonna like break or something. And we're just gonna do a little bit of surgery here. And now after two Ninja Whites, we're good. <laughs> so 
See, look at that. We're off to a fantastic start already. Ninja White now complete. So I think for our next entry, we will be doing the In Space Blue one. So you guys already know what this one is going to be about. This is going to be about the glider. So as you know, when we first saw this one at Hasbro PulseCon back in 2021, everybody pointed out that the glider has the wrong symbol. It should have the symbol that's on their belt buckles right there. But for some reason, Hasbro sculpted this with a gigantic X. I have no idea why. <laughs> so they just did not uh, sculpt it correctly. And in the post post con uh, post post con interviews, John Warden and the team said that they were able to catch that and they were going to fix it. Then the thing came out and we saw that. Oop! There he goes. <laughs> the figure came out and we saw that it was not corrected, uh, which was really annoying. However, right after this came out, or like a month after it came out in the U.S., uh, some people walked into Targets and found that on the shelves there were ones with the corrected symbol. And now it was a 50-50 chance on if your Target received the incorrect or the correct. Uh, I've seen some targets receive both of them on the same at the same time. Well, my target, my local target, which never has anything, had something. So <laughs> this one is a corrected glider. So look at that. So I've had this for like a month and a half at this point. I've had this one for a while. And uh, yeah, that now means that I own three in space blues because if you add it with the in space blue from the versus pack last year, I am now three fifths of a way. Uh, to recreating the in space episode five of a kind so that is definitely fun and uh you already see this on twitter by the time this video is out uh, but i will be taking a picture of three in space blues with my psycho blues that i already have because i thought that'd be kind of fun uh, but now i have a third one which is one of those things where it's like dumb <laughs> I, I don't need uh three in space blue figures but I do want that corrected glider, and this is one of those instances, and we'll see it again uh, with our next candidate, which you already know how this is going to go. See, he doesn't even want to be on screen. He was so ashamed, he had to tumble over. Uh, but we'll get to him in a minute. But basically, it's one of those situations where I got the wrong thing before the right thing was even found. So it's one of those things where it's like, I could have waited, but I had no way of knowing that they were going to fix it. Um, so actually, I've got to open this one on this side, so I know that this is my second box and not my first box. Uh, just because that's how my OCD works. So let's open it up. Now, it's one of those things too where I had a Target gift card that I used on this guy. So I don't feel as bad about buying a duplicate of this one. Uh, so, and also since I just said you could technically justify this as collecting it for a uh, five of a kind display, I'm not too, too angry about having a third in Space Blue. I could have used that Target gift card on other things. Uh, like the other Ninjetti figures that are coming out. But no, I used it on this. So there we go. Look at that. So let's compare them. It is a pretty noticeable difference once you see them both. But there's the incorrect X in the actual correct V or envelope, whatever the hell John Warden called it. So there we go. And now I have three in space blues. So we'll go ahead and just get him out of here so that the actual TJ from this box can be the one on the glider but like literally this serves one purpose Ooh, that's a pretty good knee joint this, that might be my best tj uh you know actually having the joints work nicely and that didn't feel like they were going to break so there we go we'll have him on the glider there i don't really know how to pose this on the glider but uh there we go we have tj now on a corrected galaxy glider which means TJ has not passed the lightning corrections round. So look at that. So now I just have this and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, <laughs> but you know, it's a piece of lightning collection history. It's a part of the lightning collection to have an incorrect in space blue with loud galaxy glider and to have a correct one. So, you know, <laughs> that's fun. Uh, so we're gonna get this giant tray out of here because of course, next up is Lunar Wolf. Now, as you guys probably know, Lunar Wolf is one of the worst lightning collection figures that they have ever made because Hasbro just decided to not look at any figures of the suit whatsoever, or any figures, any pictures of the suit whatsoever, uh, when they decided to design this. So I've gone over this like a beaten, like, you know, a broken record so many times. <laughs> I've beat this dead horse so badly, but we already know what the problems there are. He has white boots when he should have silver boots. He has five stripes when he should have six stripes, and he does not have a holster. Now, Hasbro did claim, after the PulseCon stuff, at, at their PulseCon interviews, that he would be corrected in the stripe department and in the boot department, but they did never they never said anything about the holster. So we knew that the holster was never going to get fixed. 
What we did not know was that the figure itself was actually going to get fixed with the stripes and the boots. And, uh, oh, fixed it they have. So there are five variations of the Lunar Wolf Ranger that are out there. There is this one, there is that one, and there are three more. So I think you know what's about to happen. <laughs> I think we're about to have a team of Lunar Wolf Rangers on this table. And uh, that is absolutely what is about to happen. So I am a crazy person who have who has now purchased five of these guys. So the very first one that I got uh, after this one, so that's the thing too. Uh, by the time I had got this one, uh, we knew about one we knew about one variation to this. Uh, in the time since I had this one variation, we now have all five. Um, so we knew that uh, the second this one was found, we knew that there was also a variant out there that had six stripes, but still had white boots. So we were not sure if that was just some weird printing error where like some of them accidentally got the stripes correct because uh, he should have six. And then we started seeing more that had six stripes but still had white boots. Then we saw another, another variation that had silver boots. And you can see that variation right here, actually. Um, so thankfully, the Walmart Power Pop Art boxes, a majority of them at least, shipped out with six stripes on the figure and silver boots the way he should be. This figure inside is completely correct, except for still not having a holster. But you know, the artwork, the new artwork on this one kind of blocks where the holster would be anyway. So you can kind of just pretend that it's a fully nice uh, Lunar Wolf. Now, I am not going to open this one because I was never going to open the special packaging. So I'm not going to open that one. I am going to open this one right here. And that is a corrected one in the correct package. So here we go. So this one is a Lunar Wolf Ranger with six stripes and silver boots, which was found in the original packaging, which is fantastic. So this one is exactly the one that it should be. And this one will take over as my primary Lunar Wolf Ranger whenever I do displays or anything like that. And in my eyes, this will be my prime Lunar Wolf Ranger in my Lightning Collection. Although this one is still somewhat important because this one is what all of the promo shots are based off of. Uh, the promo shots, every single official promo shot you've ever seen online of this guy, uh, shows him with five stripes and shows him with white boots because that's how the prototype was. Even that's not technically true because the prototype that we saw John Warden hold off on screen, uh, like actually hold up and everything, I, or show off, I think was actually kind of, uh, I think it had, I think it was this one actually, I'm, I think it had silver boots at least. Um, so we didn't really notice that it was wrong until we got all the promo shots. So this one is basically like the promo shot variation. Uh, that's the Walmart variation. This is the correct variation. There are two more. We're not done. So we'll get there. Uh, but this one, we can go ahead and open and actually add the proper Lunar Wolf Ranger into my Lightning Collection. Thankfully. So <laughs> I'm not going to take all the accessories and stuff out of here right now. I really don't need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the figure itself which now means I finally have a version of this figure that I actually like, kind of. I mean, I still wish that he had a holster because it's not a bad figure. Like the sculpting is great. I think the Merrick head's pretty good. Um, this one just looks better. <laughs> it's just so much better. Uh, it actually has six stripes, making sure one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I always have to like triple check and make sure. And look at that silver boots. Uh, I love it. So let's go ahead and compare the two. So chests, five stripes, six stripes, white boots, silver boots. <sighs> so there we go. I also think that the helmet looks pretty good. My original helmet, I've seen some kind of messy lines on these helmets, but I think that the new one or my new version looks pretty good. I, mean, I think it maybe looks a little cleaner than my other ones, but uh, yeah, so that now makes three little wolf rangers that are just standing here. So we have one good one, one that's actually good, one not, the one that is so wrong, the one that is mostly right, and the one that is right when I'm not going to open. However, I did mention that there are more. So inside of that box was this variation. So this was the first variation that we saw that kind of made us think that Hasbro was actually going to fix this. And this one is a six stripe white boot. So this is a half, between. this is a mix between the all wrong one and the all correct one. So this one fixes the stripes, but does not fix the boots. Um, so we thought that this was going to be the best fix we were going to get. This is the one that we weren't sure if it was like a misprint, because it actually does have six stripes. Let me count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one does have six stripes and white boots. Now, I'm just going to tell you this right off the bat. I'm not opening this one either. I have no reason to open this one 
whatsoever uh, because it's still wrong but it's also not 100% wrong but not 100% right and like I, I don't care <laughs> like I don't need to open it um, because like I already obviously opened up my, my original one because I wasn't sure at the time that they were going to fully fix it so I you know I needed to get the review out and everything this is the one that was in my review also just noticing my buckle on this one is very off-centered and this one's a lot more centered so I'm glad that my, my correct one turned out pretty good uh, but then yeah so I, I have no reason to open this one because like I'm never going to display it being half correct so we'll go ahead and put him wow thanks tj so we'll go ahead and uh, start building our little tj or our little tj our little merrick army there we will put the galaxy glider off to the side so let's see one two three four lunar wolves how many more lunar wolves could there possibly be there can't be more right there's one more guys all right so uh, there's one more so let's go ahead and open up this bag Ooh, this one got damaged. That's very cool. Very glad about that. Oh no. I'm not buying it again, by the way. I don't care that it's been kicked in. Oh, that got real damaged. That's unfortunate. That's incredibly unfortunate. Yeah, that one got beat up good. Okay, anyway, so this one, I honestly, like, that's kind of is a shame that it got so beaten up but I can't keep spending money on Lunar Wolf Rangers, <laughs> so I can't, I cannot care. But here we go. This one is a Power Pop Art variant with six stripes and white boots. So since this is a Power Pop Art variant, I'm also not going to open up this one. Uh, since the box is so damaged, it's not even gonna stand up very well. But all right, so let's put that there, kind of straighten these out a little bit. So we have, let's just, let's just recap here. <laughs> so we have, let me kind of just adjust the angle. We'll get Ninja White out of there. So we have the one that was advertised with five stripes and white boots. The one that it should be with six stripes and silver boots. The one that almost got it right with six stripes and white boots. The Power Pop Art Walmart variant that got it completely correct. And the Walmart Power Pop Art variant that got it mostly correct or half correct. As far as I am aware, these are the only five versions of this figure that exist out in the wild. Uh, get it? Because Wild Force... Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> so <laughs> I did, I did it. I got all five variations of this figure, and I really hope that there is not a five-stripe white boot power pop art variant out there because there very well could be. <laughs> and if there is, that would make six, and I definitely would track that down, just like I tracked down all of these guys. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it. I think finally uh, for the Power Rangers lightning corrections or power Rangers correction collection whatever you want to call it um so on twitter before this video has released i'm going to go ahead and show off a picture of all five lunar wolves together and three in space blues versus a psycho blue uh, so stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and get the corrected glider in here let's go ahead and uh, get my kit bashed corrected ninja white figure in here and uh, i think that's going to finally do it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me uh, being insane <laughs> and really making my lightning collection uh, up to speed here on everything. And uh, hopefully I don't have to keep doing this. Hopefully the ninjas uh, have better quality control in the future. Uh, this is just really a testament to how ridiculous the lightning collection has been recently. Uh, because like, obviously there are correct variations out there, but like a lot of times, especially with like Lunar Wolf, you know, being, if you order it online, you have no idea which version you're gonna get. Like even that big Walmart four pack of Power Pops, I've seen most of them come with this variation of the Power Pop Art box, but I've also seen some come with this variation. Uh, and this is actually how I got with this variation, because uh, Raz on Twitter, uh, he actually got a Power Pop Art 4-pack that had this variation, and he was willing to split up the set and sell this variation to me uh, on its own. And so, and obviously if you pre-order Lunar Wolf, you don't know which version you're going to get uh, sent. So it could be that one, it could be that one, it could be that one. So, uh, same thing with the glider, you pretty much have to go into Targets, or GameStops, or whatever, and try to find that in person, so... It's still tricky, like, the corrected versions are not necessarily the abundant versions of any of this stuff. <laughs> so, if you're lucky, you might be able to get that online like that, but you're gonna have to do a lot of hunting, and you shouldn't have to. Like, these figures should never have been as messed up as they are. The quality control should be present on these guys. These are a problem. The glider and the figure here are a problem of just not looking at reference photos enough. Uh, I don't understand how this happened with the symbol. I definitely don't understand how this figure happened. The worst part about five Lunar Wolf Rangers in front of me right now is that every single one of these is still wrong because none of them have holsters for his weapon. 
which is something that is present on like basically every single picture of Lunar Wolf or Gal Silver you could possibly look at. So the problem with, with this is that one day we'll probably get sold like this figure, you know, the fully corrected one with a holster and like a two pack with Zenaku or something like that's a classic Hasbro move right there uh, to like sell you the corrected figure later uh, because of the fact that you bought one already wrong. So it's just it's it's annoying. It's very annoying, but it's kind of fun <laughs> at the same time to like do a video like this and just see the ridiculousness of five Lunar Wolves in front of me. I never thought when the Lightning Collection started that I would own five Lunar Wolf Rangers. Uh, but here we are. I have an entire Sentai team of them now. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LeaveNerdGerKey or at LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all next time.